Hello everyone, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to rig and animate a hand in After Effects with Twig Basil plugin. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson and this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Ok, now let's jump on to After Effects and start with the hand rigging process. Ok, so now we are going to rig this hand. So I'm going to select the forum and I'm going to move the anchor point and put it over here. And I'm going to select the hand and move the anchor point and put it over here. And for the thumb, I'm going to put the anchor point over here. So I'm going to select this finger. Let's solo it out. Now I'm going to put a pin over here, another one over here, another one over here, and another one over here. So I'm going to select puppet and then come over here in tweak, in rigging, then select on add bones. So the puppets have been converted into individual bone layers and I'm going to rename it. Let's just name it in serial number. All right, so I'm going to select this, press shift and select 4. So all the layers are selected in the serial order. And after that, I'm going to come over here in create structures and select on arm structure. So all the structure layer of arm is selected and we have selected, we have created a structure layer by selecting these four layers in the serial order so all the structure layers are even placed automatically in that particular order so we are going to use arm structure layer for this one so i'm going to parent one with arm one two with forearm three with hand and four with arm tip and then i'm going to select the structure layer and then Click on links and constraints and then click on auto rig. And right now your hand should be rigged properly. So for that, let's first of all parent this arm with the hand one. And I'm going to simply select all the structure layer and bone layers and turn off the visibility and shy it out. And right now I'm going to open the scale property of it. And you might find that uh, it's a uh, very large, so we can scale it down. But right now you can't because it's locked. So for that you have to press Alt, and press and hold Alt and click on it to disable the expression. And after that we can scale it down. Okay, so if I move it, the finger is rigged as you can see. And as we have parent it with hand, so it's also moving. This part is moving, but it's not. So we can simply parent this with hand one as well. Right now, both of them will move together. All right, we can even parent thumb with hand one as well. Okay, so right now we can simply add some animation to the finger by just moving this controller and adding rotation keyframes on it as well. Okay, now we are going to add some scroll animation. So let's turn off the visibility of the mobile layers and I'm going to pre-comp all the screen elements and let's pre-comp it and name it screen elements. All right, now I'm going to copy this screen layer and put it Above and give use it as an alpha mat. Okay, now I'm going to parent hand with forum and move the hand and put it over here. So we are going to put a rotation on each of the hands and forums. And for this hand controller, I'm going to put keyframe on position and rotation both. I'm going to jump on to next 8 frames. Let's give it a rotation on this side. Not that much. 
let's give it a rotation of minus 4 yep and for this one let's give it minus 10 or a little more all right and i'm going to move this down a bit and slightly rotate it this side as well okay so after that i'm going to jump on to next eight frames again and put this uh, put keyframes and we are going to change the position so basically we are going to give it minus or rather we are going to copy the initial keyframes but at this point we are going to add some overshoot to the animation as well so this is the neutral pose which the hand will come back after the scroll so at this point there would be some opposite motion not that much uh, let's give it minus 0 0.6 degree of rotations and this one one and this one slightly move it in the opposite side and give it a rotation of minus or uh, four okay so i'm going to select the keyframes and easy as it let's check our animation yep but you can see here is some joint breaks over here you can fix it very easily you just need to add some position keyframe on this on this layer and at this point we can simply move it and try to fix it up and like this at this point there isn't any that kind of problem we can simply copy the initial keyframe all right so like this you can animate hands now we can even add some follow through to this animation right now the whole hand looks a bit stiff so we can simply call, select all these keyframes and slightly just offset it by two or three frames don't do it too much otherwise it will look like some spaghetti kind of movement let's check out yeah so this is what we were looking for and at this point the scroll animation that fingers touches the screen so we are going to add some scroll over here as well so for that i'm going to add a shape layer to use it as an track mat as a track mat so simply put it over this this particular layer and use it as an alpha mat okay now i'm going to open the position put a keyframe and then i'm going to jump on to next 20 frames and slightly move it above okay so i'm going to easy as eight and i'm going to select this keyframe and give it more is in this end let's check out all right so that is how you can animate and rig and animate a hand in after effects with the twig basil plugin just within few minutes so do try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson so that is it for this video if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i will be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye